You can use Microsoft Intune to sideload apps via the cloud and make them available to any authorised, compatible device that's connected to the internet. To do this, use the following high-level procedure. If required, create users and groups. Upload the app to Microsoft Intune. Choose the users, groups, computers and devices that can download the app. For the self-service model, choose how to deploy the app. Make it available or available and required. Verify that the app is available in the Windows Intune Company Store and use the Company Store to install the app on devices. The first step in, in this process is to add the users and groups for which you use the Microsoft Azure portal. Next, you must upload an app to Intune. To upload an app, complete the following steps. First, sign in to Microsoft Intune using an administrative account. Next, click Mobile Apps and then select Apps as shown here. Click Add and then select the type of app. You can choose a store app such as Android, iOS, Windows Phone 8.1 and Windows, an Office 365 suite of apps, Windows 10 and Mac OS, or other such as web app or line of business app. Click Select File and then browse and select your app's executable file as shown here. Click Configure and enter a description. Select a category for the app. Choose from Business, Photos and Media, Collaboration, Social and others. If you want the app to feature in the company portal, next to Display this as a featured app in the company portal, click Yes. Click OK and then click Add. You can choose the users to whom the app is made available by selecting the assignments on the mobile app's Apps Blade page. Use the following procedure. Choose one or more groups to which the app is assigned. Choose the type option. Choose from available, not applicable, or available with or without enrollment. As well as using Intune to deploy your own line of business apps, you can also make Microsoft Store apps available in your company portal by using Microsoft Intune. This is known as deep linking. There are two stages in this process. First, obtain the URL link to the app you want to add to your company portal and then add the app to Microsoft Intune. To obtain a link, use the following procedure. Open a browser and navigate to the Microsoft Store website. Click Software, and then in the search box, type the name of the app and click Search. Click the app, and then copy the URL from your web browser for later use. The next step is to add the app, which is very similar to the process we've just looked at for sideloading an app. Use the following procedure. Sign into Microsoft Intune using an administrative account. In the Azure portal on the Microsoft Intune Blade, select Mobile Apps and then select Apps. This time define the app type as Store App. Then define the additional following information. Name and description for the app, the publisher, and then, importantly, paste in the App Store URL that you copied earlier. Define the category of the application and then say whether the app is featured in the company portal or not. OK, so in the demonstration, I'll show you how to add an app to Microsoft Intune and then how to deep link an app from the store in Microsoft Intune. OK, to sideload an app in Intune, the first thing you need to do is to create user accounts. I already have some created here. I'm in the Office 365 Admin Center and I can see a list of user accounts. Um, I'll also need groups. And I have some created here. I've got a security group and a mail enabled security group. And then when I'm ready, scroll down to the admin centers and then click the link for Intune. That will open in a separate tab. So switch to that tab. It says Microsoft Azure, but that's because all management now for Intune is done through uh, the Azure portal. And you can see that the home page I've landed on here for Microsoft Intune includes a link for mobile apps. So I'll click that link and then click Apps. The next thing to do is to click Add, and then in the App Type list over here on the right, choose the type of app that I'm adding. So it's a store app for Android or iOS or Windows Phone 8.1 or Windows. It's an Office 365 suite app, or it's it's another, such as a, a web link, a built-in app, or a line of business. I'm going to choose a line of business app here. I now need to specify the app package file location, so I'll browse and locate that. And now browse and select that from my local hard drive. There's the app. 
and then click OK. Next I click Configure. I can change the name. Enter a description. Specify a publisher, that's already been pre-filled from the app itself. I can configure a category. Let's say that it's business. Then I can display this as a featured app in the company portal, yes or no. If I want to specify any additional information or privacy information, I can specify the URLs. I'm going to choose to not display this in the company portal uh, for now. I can provide information about the developer and the owner. And then for the app itself, I can configure a particular image file for the logo. When I'm happy with all my settings, I click OK. The final step here is to click Add to upload the app. Now, depending obviously on how large the app is will determine how long uh, it takes to complete that process. As you see here, it says the app is not yet ready. Check back soon. And there we are. We can see the app is now ready. Um, it's not assigned as yet. To assign the app, I, I expand the app or select the app, then click on Assignments. And you can see at the moment that there are none. So I need to click Add Group. Select the assignment type. I can make it available for enrolled devices, make it a required app, or I can choose to use this option to uninstall. I'm going to choose it as available for enrolled devices. I can specify which groups are included. OK, so make this app available to all users with enrolled devices, yes. Or to specify particular groups, say no, and then select the group. I created a group earlier called Sales. Let's select that group and click uh, OK. And then we've got the option included groups specified. And if there's anybody I want to specifically exclude so that it's available to everybody else except, I can perform a similar procedure there. When I'm happy, click OK. So anybody who's a member of the sales group with or enrolled devices can have the application assigned. Save my settings. So. Um, you can also take apps that are in the Microsoft Store or Store for Business and make those available. That's called deep linking. So uh, let's show you how to deep link an app. The first thing to do is to is to find the app. I'm going to do that by opening up a new tab and entering the URL for the uh, Microsoft Windows Store for Windows apps. And then I need to browse and find the app that I'm interested in. Let's say Network Speed Test. It's an app that I use from time to time. So what I need here is the URL itself. So I'm going to copy that to my paste buffer so I can use that uh, shortly. And then switching back to Intune in the Azure portal on the Intune blade, I choose Mobile Apps and then select the Apps node. Then click Add. This time I choose that it's a store app, uh, Windows in this case, and then click Configure, enter a name, Network Speed Test App, for testing the network speed, publisher, Microsoft, and then paste in the URL I had earlier. Select a category. Let's call this, uh, let's see, computer management. Do I want to display it in the company portal? Yes or no. And then any supplemental information that I want to provide here and then an image if I want to. And then click OK. And when I'm happy, I can click Add. As before, if I want, I can click on Assignments and go through the process of adding a particular group I can say it's available for enrolled devices, and I can specify included groups and so forth, just as we did before. I'll quickly complete that process. So uh, it's available to, let's think, uh, marketing users. Not sure why they'd want the network speed test app, but never mind. Click OK to that, OK to that, save my changes. And then if we go up here and click mobile apps, we can now see that there are two apps. OK, Network Speed Test is not yet assigned, um, and then the Line of Business app. 
In the demonstration, we saw how to add an app to Intune and how to de deep link an app.